number one, part A. In paragraph nine of A Legendary Hero Guides a Reborn Kyrgyzstan, it is stated that the Manas epic has proved impossible to suppress. What does that phrase say about the Kyrgyzstan epic tradition? A. Those who study it cannot remember all the lines. B. No ruling powers have been able to put an end to it. C. Some important parts of it may never be recovered. D. No other cultures have produced a story quite like it. Part B. Which sentence from the article most helps the reader understand this phrase? A. He works at memorizing what is said to be the world's longest epic poem. B. Because there was never, because there has never been an authoritative text, each manistry can weave in original lines and even episodes and characters. C. But the tradition is thriving today thanks in part to support from the Kyrgyz authorities. D. No child who studies Manus will ever grow up to be dishonest or negative or unproductive. 2a. Why does the article A Legendary Hero Guides a Reborn Kyrgyzstan draw a connection between the Manus epic and famous writings like the Odyssey, Don Quixote, and the Gospels? a. To demonstrate that just like these texts, the Manus epic is read all over the world. b. To suggest that the Manus epic shares traits that qualify it as a literary classic in its own right. c. To highlight some key differences between the Manus epic and these more familiar texts. D, to, to prove that the Manus epic draws much of its content from these earlier texts. Part B, what sentence from the article further supports the idea about the Manus epic expressed in the answer to part A? A, his resolute commitment to virtue makes the epic a textbook of moral values as well as an enthralling story. B, although the Manus epic is many centuries old, it was first written down in fragments less than 150 years ago. C, not only the Manus poem, but also more than a dozen other epics, some of them still perform today, emerged during this period. D. No definitive version of the surviving epic exists, but the government is collecting material and hopes to publish one in the next few years, first in Kyrgyz, then in Russian, and perhaps in English. Number three, part A. How does paragraph two of A Legendary Hero Guides a Reborn Kyrgyzstan help to develop a key concept of the article? A. By describing the hero Manus, who is the main character of the epic. B. By showing how the Manus epic inspires its audience to be good. C. By demonstrating how involved the performers become when reciting the Manus epic. D. By emphasizing the role children play in the Manus epic's narrative. Part B. Which piece of evidence from later in the article develops the key concept in a similar way? A. Most of these manistries have been men and women with strong constitutions, able to go on for hours or days at a time. B. Miram's pupils are selected from among the gifted and ambitious. C. It's about teaching moral principles for the present day. D. The figure of Manus is not known to be based on any single individual. Number four, part A. What distinction does what is an epic make between traditional epic poetry and written forms of literature? A. Epic poems more often begin right in the middle of a story. B. Epic poems contain more exciting scenes full of action. C. Epic poems are usually more popular with readers. D. Epic poems rely more on sound to develop mood and dramatic effects. Part B. Which paragraph from What is an Epic supports the answer to Part A? A. Paragraph 4. B. Paragraph 6. C. Paragraph 9. D. Paragraph 10. Number five, part A. Which statement expresses a central idea of what is an epic? A, Greek epic poets would call upon the muse Calliope for help in their difficult task. B, more than just exciting stories, epic poems also teach people about themselves. C, epics, like most forms of literature, use figures of speech, metaphors, and other devices. D, the Iliad and the Odyssey are two epic poems that have long served as examples of the form. Part B, which sentence from the article provides a supporting detail for this central idea? A, such an undertaking required that he asked the goddess of eloquence and epic poetry for help. B, originally epics began as verses recited orally by bards. C, certain epithets are used repeatedly to describe deities and heroes, for example, rosy-fingered Dawn and crafty Odysseus. D. It describes feelings and experiences that are familiar to all people, such as joy, sorrow, fear, revenge, treachery, love for family and friends, and death. Number six, part A. 
Which statement expresses a difference in the way the topic of epic poems is presented in the two articles? A. A legendary hero guides a reborn Kyrgyzstan, introduces an epic from a different cultural tradition, while what is an epic focuses on the Greek epic tradition. B. A legendary hero guides a reborn Kyrgyzstan argues that only one epic provides moral guidance, while what is an epic suggests that all epics influence people's morals. C. A legendary hero guides a reborn Kyrgyzstan claims that epics do not need to make use of literary devices, while what is an epic proves otherwise. D. A legendary hero guides a reborn Kyrgyzstan shows how epics turn ordinary people into heroes, while what is an epic describes epics about famous national heroes. Part B. Which paragraphs from the two articles most clearly support the answer to Part A? A. A legendary hero guides a reborn Kyrgyzstan, paragraph 1. What is an epic? Paragraph 1. B. A legendary hero guides a reborn Kyrgyzstan. Paragraph 5. What is an epic? Paragraph 2. C. A legendary hero guides a reborn Kyrgyzstan. Paragraph 8. What is an epic? Paragraph 4. D. A legendary hero guides a reborn Kyrgyzstan. Paragraph 14. What is an epic? Paragraph 3. Number 7, Part A. What does the word attributed mean as it is used in paragraph one of what is an epic? A, acknowledged as traditional in a given culture. B, regarded as having been created by someone or something. C, supported and inspired by supernatural powers. D, named after or in honor of someone or something. Part B, which words from the article help the reader understand the word attributed? A. The accepted practice of poets, paragraph 1. B. Who promoted and patronized the arts and sciences, paragraph 1. C. The two epic poems credited to Homer, paragraph 2. D. Passed from generation to generation, paragraph 2.